Hi everybody, it's Cherie. Um, welcome to my channel. Um, this is actually being uh, recorded on the last day of August, but I'm doing the In Touch Ministries uh, with Charles Stanley, and I'm doing the September the 1st, which is tomorrow. I'm doing it today because I will be gone for a while tomorrow probably, so um, I wanted to go over this with you today. If you get your Bibles and you turn to Philippians chapter 2, verses 4 through 11, I wanted to read this and go over it with you. Um, my last video, I showed you how I had my in touch with the, the uh, in touch with the devotional here and the paper here to make my notes. What I did was I wrote out all the verses over here, this verses 4 through 11. Um, but I wanted to read this with you in Philippians chapter 2. Um, don't look out only for your own interest, but take an interest in others too. Now that's a good one right there. <laughs> we should always take an interest in others, you know. It's not all about us, not me, me, me. <laughs> you must have the same attitude that Christ Jesus had. Though he was God, he did not think of equality with God as something to cling to. Instead, he gave up his divine privileges. He took the humble position of a slave and was born as a human being when he appeared in human form. He humbled himself in obedience to God and died a criminal's death on a cross. Therefore, God elevated him to the place of highest honor and gave him the name above all other names. Verse 10 that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father and please notice there it said in heaven and on earth and under the earth which means hell <laughs> so everybody's going to know that Jesus is God now the devotional is the name of Jesus, is the name of the devotional. And it said, Jesus is a name that elicits all kinds of reactions. Some people show indifference, others feel hatred, and many think of it only in a profane sense. But to those of us who know Jesus as Lord and Savior, his name is precious and higher than any other, and one day in heaven we will eagerly bow before him. In biblical times, uh, names were given to represent the nature of a person. And this is certainly true of the titles by which our Savior is known. It says, um, Lord signifies his deity, which is the creator and supreme being. Jesus existed before time as the eternal Son of God, and his divinity was never put on hold, not even when he humbled himself to take the form of a man. The name Jesus shows his humanity and his mission. This was a very common name among the Jews and the one by which our Savior was known as a man. Jesus means Jehovah is salvation, and that's exactly what he came to do, saving his people from, saving his people from their sins. That's Matthew one twenty one. if you ever want to look that up. Christ means Messiah. And Jesus perfectly fulfilled all the Old Testament prophecies that spoke of the Messiah's first coming and the remaining messianic, messianic prophecies will be fully realized when he returns to reign on the earth as king. Now, when Pontius Pilate addressed the Jews, he uttered one of the most crucial questions in the Bible. What shall I do with Jesus, who is called Christ? We must each answer this same question, and the way we do will determine our eternal destiny. You'll bow before him one day, but will it be by choice and in grateful worship? Yes, it will be for me. I bow humbly before him now. You know, I'm not perfect. I need Jesus, and he gets me through everything. Every day, he's with me. Some days I'm having a bad day, and that might not be on the forefront of my mind, but I know in my heart that Jesus is with me, and I'm not alone. And we all need to realize that. Um, don't ever feel like you're by yourself, because Jesus is always with you. Um, he's there for us all the time. 24-7 we can go to him in prayer and talk to him. Um, 
I'm going to try to do these devotionals every day. I don't know that I'll do them on here every day. I might try to, but I'm not going to set myself up for failure because life happens. But anyway, some of you enjoyed doing these devotionals at the In Touch because you all have started getting them. A lot of you have. So anyway, just wanted to do that one little short video for you today. And welcome September. And um, I know from the hurricane and stuff, a lot of you all have had some issues and our, our prayers go out for you all, and um, hopefully this month will look up as the month goes on. Um, but anyway, we love y'all, and um, remember to live, love, laugh, and laugh some more, because laughter's the best medicine. And I will see you back here real soon. You all take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.